welcome back. We're in chapter 20 of Exodus, verse 7 only today. We're looking at the third of the Ten Commandments. And so let's read just that verse 7. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave him unpunished who takes his name in vain. What does the name of God stand for? Well, when we get to Exodus 33 and 34, we'll show it to you. But God's name stands for his character. It's kind of a shorthand way. It's symbolic. A name in the Bible usually is symbolic or representative of a person's character. So God's character, who he is, the moral person that he is, is ethically gigantic and he is a good God. Okay, so we will not take his name in vain. Of course, we shouldn't say it in a light way. There's no, no time we should ever use God's name in a light or swearing way, what we would today think of as swearing. But it's, when it says take it in vain, it means to, to, to empty. In vain is to empty, to speak in emptiness. And when you use God's name in the wrong way, when you portray his character as God is just on the same level as every other thing, and you use his name the same way you would use something else, that's, that's all wrong. So it's, it, it, it messes with your own head. It messes with your own mind and heart. So don't do it. So we get away from uh, with old days when we used to, when we were unconverted and following the lusts of our flesh, we would uh, swear and use God's name in a, in a completely wrong way. Notice what this text says to us at verse 7. The Lord will not leave him unpunished who takes his name in vain. So uh, now if you repent, you know, then Jesus pays the price for that for you and you don't, you're not going to be punished for it. Jesus takes that punishment. But if we were to keep on speaking God's name in vain, or if somebody does, and let's say that there's nothing that happens. They don't see any immediate consequence. And yet the Bible tells us, the Ten Commandments itself tells us, God will not leave that person unpunished. Okay, so anything, anytime we've used, misused God's name, we've misrepresented his character, we've misspoken about who he is or what he is, that is a dangerous place. And God will hold us accountable. We are in the covenant with him after all. And so uh, we shouldn't do it. And he will uh, keep... An accounting, and he will not leave, he will punish all who misrepresent what he is. It might not be detected, and nobody else may hear it, nobody else human may hear it, but if the angels heard it, and the angels have, I think, a 100% record, then that will mean, yeah, that will mean that you, there be, you need to set that right with the Lord. Please, let's not speak of God in a way that takes him down. We need to always speak of him in a way that that is respectful and that puts him up higher. All right, see you tomorrow morning and we're gonna get into the fourth commandment, which is that crazy Sabbath stuff again. And yet, there are blessings for us. See you later.